This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I want to cover this article here called Kim Kardashian upset with Kanye for inviting Marilyn Manson to Donda event. This is from Geo News, and I gotta say, I didn't know who Kim Kardashian was aside from hearing her name in the news, and that's it. I never read an article about her. I didn't know who she was married to, but I got the feeling. From hearing things here and there, that she was like Paris Hilton, where she has no talent, she does nothing, and she got famous. And lo and behold, that's who she is. Also, they mention the baby, the rapper here, who made homophobic comments on stage, and I want to read a few of those so we get an idea what was going on for those who haven't heard it. And if you're like me and you didn't know who Kim Kardashian was, this is a short little paragraph on her. Born in 1980, she's an American media personality, socialite, which is never saying anything, model and businesswoman. Also, not really saying much. Anyone can be a businesswoman. And I can't say anyone could be a model, but it takes a certain superficial aspect and you can do it. Kardashian first gained media attention as a friend and stylist of Paris Hilton, but received wider notice after 2002, excuse me, after a 2002 sex tape, Kim Kardashian, superstar with her then boyfriend, Ray J, was released in 2007. So she was friends with Paris or, you know, her hairstylist, and then she made this sex tape and that's how she got famous. Doesn't seem like she worked too hard. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot she could do. Let's move on. Here is the comment the baby made at a concert. Ladies, if your P word smell like water, put your cell phone lighter up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking D in the parking lot, put your cell phone lighter up. So this is one of the things he said. I think there was a little bit more, but this seems like the worst of it. So if you don't know what the baby said, well, here you go. I've got no comment. Not really concerned one way or the other. So they go on to say, Kim Kardashian was fuming at former husband Kanye West for inviting Marilyn Manson and the baby to his Donda music party. The mother of four was said to have been distraught after Kanye involving Manson who was accused of sexual assault and the baby who has been in trouble for his homophobic remarks. And the thing is, Marilyn Manson has simply been accused and nothing else. One of the cases has just been dropped because the accuser said she suppressed her memory, she couldn't remember anything, and that never works too well in court. An insider told E! News, Kim, unaware of Manson's presence at the event prior to arriving, explained she would never participate in something if she knew Manson was a part of it. A second source told the outlet that Kim is equally upset about the baby. The insider and sister, she truly had no idea about the extent of Kanye's plans. As for Kanye, the source added, he wants her to realize why he included them and appreciate the art form. Kanye wanted a reaction. He wants people talking about his album, and that was the approach he was taking, said the insider. Which is what a lot of people are saying about him, is that he simply surrounded himself with controversial people, so... It would get attention and get people talking about the album, but does it? I'm not talking about the album. I mean, I mentioned the name, but aside from that, I'm not really saying if it's good, if it's bad, if I want to listen to the music because, you know, he featured Malin Manson and the baby. It's just a passing in the news. The real news is that Malin Manson is on stage and people aren't scared to feature him because of just allegations, and they're not considering him guilty on allegations alone. We gotta make sure that artists are actually guilty of what they're accused of before they get punished, before they get outed socially. It's too backwards to have accusations with zero evidence and say there's something wrong, something controversial, this person shouldn't be participating in things, this person should possibly be banned, like Rolling Stone suggested, and Rolling Stone's becoming, well, pretty crappy lately. 
now that I actually read some of their stuff on Manson. Gotta say, gotta reiterate, I'm not a huge Manson fan. I like a couple of songs here and there, but mostly I'm looking for some evidence. And because of Depp vs. Heard, my guard is really up on people making accusations. And obviously, Giant Depp showed us how to get evidence. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. It's kind of funny. I actually put up a community post asking who should I cover, and someone said anyone but Kim Kardashian. It just so happens she's in the news with Marilyn Manson, who I'm covering quite a bit, as much as I can. So if it directly connects with Amber Heard, Johnny Depp, Marilyn Manson, maybe Brad Pitt or Britney Spears or some other person I'm directly covering, I guess I'll cover her. But I doubt you'll see a Kim Kardashian story on this channel because she broke a nail or she yelled at somebody for breaking some kind of woke rule or something. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you don't subscribe, well, I guess it'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.